Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a review on my new uh, AOC 22 inch FreeSync monitor. So this is a full 1080p monitor uh, with a response time of 1 millisecond gray to gray. So it's really fast. It came in this really nice looking box here. Um, so you can see what it looked like. Um, but anyway, it's a FreeSync monitor, 22 inch 1080p. Uh, it's worth noting it's the only 22 inch 1080p FreeSync monitor out there. I mean, and in my opinion, if I'm going 1080p, if I'm going to stay with 1080p, uh, then and ensure that I can play 60 FPS on like every game, um, the RX 480 is a pretty good deal. So that's the reason why this is I decided to get this monitor to pair it with the RX 480. Um, but I also have a more high-end PC, which is the one that we're actually using here. This one actually has uh, the Sapphire R9 Fury Tri-X. You can see uh, if we zoom in here. You can see that that's the specs there. So it's a R9 Fury series. It's a Sapphire one. It's the not the Fury X. It's the air cooled one. I think the air cooled one is better. Uh, it's not as fast as the Fury X, but it's cheaper and it's quite. It's just better. There's no water system. There's no closed loop liquid cooler, um, and it's like the quietest graphics card ever made. Like literally, it is for the high performance. So. Um, that's it. The mon that's the graphics card. The monitor shows up here with the FreeSync. FreeSync range by default is 48 to 60 hertz. Um, it says it 59, but I don't know why it says 59. It's actually 60. Um, but if we turn VSync off here, you can see. Just watch the. Oh, FreeSync is on. That's why. So FreeSync's on. It looks like this. FreeSync's off. It will look like that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell actually on the camera, but I can see on, I can see on the screen like the, the micro stuttering because you're below the VSync or you're below your monitor's refresh rate, so it's a little bit stuttery looking. It's not too bad because it's still 55 FPS, which is still pretty, pretty good frame rate. Um, but let's let's just increase the windmill speed here. Um, I don't know how good the camera's able to catch that, but let's see. Let's turn FreeSync on. So I turn FreeSync on, it smooths it out. It's hard, It's easy for me to see it looking at the monitor, but it's hard for the camera to pick it up. So if we turn it off, yeah, now I can see the micro stutter again. It's, it's slight. It's not that bad. I wish I could change this FPS, but I can't uh, for this demo. And then turn VSync on. VSync makes it effectively, you can see it shoots up to 60 FPS, but it's pretty much the same as, uh, well, let's see, FPS sweep. Uh, I don't know. This demo doesn't really work all too well. Um, but anyway, that's the demo. If you wanted to play around with it, if you have a FreeSync monitor, it's relatively easy to Google and find it online. Um, but those wondering, this is the exact monitor here. Uh, I got it off a of Newegg. It was actually on sale when I got it for 119 So I got two of them. Um, but uh, right now it's back up to 149 which I think is the original retail price. Um, but it's still a relatively good deal. It's a it's a DisplayPort monitor that's 22 inch, and if you're like me and you don't like big monitors that take up a lot of space, especially if you want to run like three of them like this, uh, I feel like and and if you're going to stick with 1080p and if you want to go up to 1440p, you could potentially use VSR to use 1440p at, on a 22 inch sized uh, physical screen, which is pretty good with AMD because uh, the VSR. Uh, they don't use a Gaussian filter the way NVIDIA does for the DSR. So the AMD implementation of the super resolutions on the small monitors is actually pretty good. It's 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 pretty usable. Like 4K is not usable at 22 inch because everything's just too small. Um, but 1440p surprisingly is, does pretty good at 22 inch. So I'm going to be sticking with my 1080p monitors for a long time. Uh, I'll probably go to 4K once there's actual 4K graphics cards that can hit. 60 FPS on a single card, but that's gonna be a while from now. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Let's if we go look at an actual game. So let's go and let's go look over here. So this is the RX 480 system, the system I showed in the unboxing video. Uh, this right now it's running a game. This is Final Fantasy 14, Heaven Sword. And let me just put the camera down here. So this is it. This is uh, FreeSync is actually not on right now. Um, so what I noticed is that the monitor's refresh rate is 75 hertz. 
hertz, which is pretty nice. Even if you're not using FreeSync, you, you have a 75 hertz, 22 inch monitor that has a very good response time. Uh, it's a TN panel, um, and I will mention that I did have to calibrate the colors quite a bit. The contrast ratio was too high out of the box, um, and there was too much green. Uh, it needed more red, and uh, yeah. But anyway, after playing around with that for a while, it took me like a good 15 minutes to set the colors correctly to match my other monitors. Um, everything's working fine. When you're not using FreeSync, so in this case, if you're running the game in borderless windowed mode, you will not be able to use FreeSync. The only time you can use FreeSync is if you're using full screen because FreeSync requires that the video card has direct access to the full frame buffer. Um, and if you're running something in windowed mode or borderless windowed full screen mode, um, which is not anything but but full screen or exclusive, then you're going to be getting um, uh, limitations where it can't use FreeSync because the operating system will dictate what the uh, refresh rate can be. So, um, so if we go ahead, and I, I feel like this MMO is a really good real world demo because when you go into a city like this, so right now I'm in Idleshire for those that play uh, Heaven Sword, FF14, they know. So right there, you can. I don't know if the camera can see it, but there it's it dips to 43 52 51 and on this monitor the free sync range the default range i haven't changed it yet there is actually actually a driver update off of aoc's website um, but i haven't actually tested that yet i'm just testing it out of the box the refresh range for free sync is 48 to 60 hertz uh, which is not a very good range uh, basically it means if you fall if you stay in the 50 fps you'll get the benefit of free sync but the the driver update for the monitor does uh, improve. It makes it changes the range to 35 to 75, which is much better. So I haven't tested that one yet, but I'm sure the experience is going to be a lot better. Um, so let's go ahead and turn FreeSync on. So I'll go to full screen mode. And here we go. So now we're back. Now FreeSync is on. And uh, let's see, 60, 53. 52. So right now, this is this is where FreeSync is at its best, where it's in the 50 range of FPS. And 59. Let's see, did I limit it? Let's do none. There, so it jumps up to 70. So if you turn the frame limiter off, I, t I prefer to run with frame limiters just to uh, not, just basically let the GPU not uh, run full blast all the time. It does cut down on power consumption, regardless of what graphics card you have. It's nice to frame limit the games. I just like that. I'm not someone who wants to run everything at 144 hertz, on, especially on a 22 inch uh, monitor like this. But anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, just running around in Idleshire, I don't really notice the stuttering that I was noticing before. I see it dropping to like 59. Let's see. It's not really that crowded right now, but. Yeah, the tearing also at the 60, I don't really see it too much. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show. So, for a 22-inch monitor that can do FreeSync, I would say the AOC is a pretty good way to go. Especially at the price that I got it at, like $120. Like I said, $120 display port, FreeSync, 1 millisecond grade to grade response time. Pretty good color once you get it calibrated. I, I, look, I think it looks nice for a TN panel. It's got pretty good side side viewing angles too. It's not too too bad. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.